Hello, I'm Patrick with Lone Wolf Software, and this is a tutorial on Automotive Wolf. And what we're going to do today is show you how to configure your car maintenance schedule. Um, what you see before you right now, we have a, a Ford Mustang uh, displayed. And this car was just entered, and it was entered with 10,000 miles. Actually, it has 10,136 miles, you can see here on the odometer setting. And this vehicle, as I said, was just created. And when it was created with the 10,000 miles, there was no previous maintenance history on the vehicle. So, of course, some of these maintenance items were immediately due. And one in particular, the oil, uh, change oil and filter requirement, since, uh, of course, nothing was entered for this car previously, and it should have been changed at 3,000 miles. Currently, Automotive Wolf thinks this vehicle hasn't had the oil change in 10,000 miles. So, as a result, you see that you have the, uh, the health gauge over here in the poor range. And... If you go over to these other four gauges that we have monitoring certain maintenance items, uh, the oil, change oil, and filter is in the red, which means it's due. So since this vehicle is just created, and we want to maybe edit a few of these things to bring it up to date with the, the maintenance schedule, um, I'm going to show you how to do some of these things very quickly here. So there's several ways to edit maintenance requirements in Automotive Wolf. In this case, uh, we'll first tackle this oil, change oil, and filter. So let's say this car's uh, oil was really changed at 9,000 miles. So all you have to do is go to the What's Due tab, which we're currently under now. And we're under the Due Now requirements. So everything that you see here is, uh, are, these are requirements that are currently due. So just click on the Oil, Change Oil, and Filter. Right click on it and select Edit Selected Requirement. And what you can do is you can actually move it back by just clicking on the miles. But in this case, since we, we actually have a previous um, oil change that was performed at 9,000 miles, the best thing to do is just to go ahead and double click on it. And that brings up a maintenance screen, a maintenance item screen. And we can backdate this to when it was actually changed and also um, input the odometer when the oil was changed. So let's do that here by just clicking on, you can just click on the red text as we discussed before. If you want to interrupt the, or open up the number pad, just click on the red text. And we'll enter 9,000, so we, we're basically inputting 9,000 miles is when the last oil change was done. And we'll backdate this, let's say a month to when it was done. And you can see the oil change oil and filter has already been entered for us. Uh, full description, if you want to add something, you can. In this case, we won't. Uh, if you want to go to a parts list, you can click on the Add button. Click on this drop-down menu button, and you can see nothing here has been entered for this oil, for this particular car for the oil. And you can enter these things now. So let's do that. We'll just enter a quantity of five, let's say five quarts. Now in this case, though, part number, I don't really know. But I think the price for oil is probably about $3 per quart. So you can enter that. And these are just approximations. And if you want to put a comment, we can just say uh, 10W40 for the oil type. And let's make it Castrol. It's many oils, so we'll just pick that one. And you can enter that. Oh, it wants the description, so we'll put in a uh, Castro oil, 10W40. So now that's entered, and you can see the it's already given us the parts here. Uh, five times three be 15, so the parts price has already been entered, and. If you wanted to uh, link additional maintenance, you could do that, and you would just do that by clicking on this plus button. So if we were actually, let's say when we had our car in for the oil change, we had several other things done to it that would satisfy some of these maintenance requirements, you could just simply click on them and move them right, and they'll automatically be satisfied in Automotive Wolf and rescheduled for you also automatically. So it's, you know, it's very easy to do. In this case, we'll just say we did an oil change, so we'll just cancel out and we won't add anything. You can also add a, an invoice. So if for example, you took your vehicle to a local repair shop and you had the oil change, they're going to provide you with an invoice. And you can take that, in, bring that invoice home, scan it into your computer, and save it as an image file is a good way of doing it. And then you can just link it uh, to, this, to this record, this maintenance record. So when you go back to review this maintenance record, you can, with one click, look at the actual invoice. And uh, it's, it's useful. If you want to prove that you had an oil change, let's say you have an engine problem and you need to go back and you want to prove that you had your, your oils changed, uh, that's an easy way to do it. Um, so I think we're okay with this here. Um, we've entered the parts that we used. Um, since we're doing this oil change yourself, there won't be any labor or any other costs. So we'll just say the cost is just for parts. We'll click OK. And if you go to the maintenance tab, you'll see that the oil change was entered at uh, 9,000 miles. Now if you go back to the What's Due tab, 
you'll see that the oil change oil and filter has changed now to green or was the red before so this has been reset so we're in the green range now so we're good we only have a thousand miles on this oil change and if you go over to this uh, gauge over here the uh, overall vehicle health gauge you can see that's been reset all the way from red to yellow and the reason is of course this uh, initially Automotive Wolf thought this vehicle was way way overdue for an oil change so of course the health was in the poor range oil changes are very important for your vehicle health so now that we've entered a change and we've we've uh, specified it was changed a thousand miles ago we have a pretty good health health status reading so that's a that's a good thing to do uh, all right so you can go through all these uh, these maintenance items after you've created your vehicle and you can simply right click on them and edit them if you want to move them back if you don't agree with when they're actually being scheduled or you can if any of them have been actually satisfied in the past in the recent past you can just double click on them and it'll call up this maintenance item screen and you can enter when this when the item was satisfied when it was when the job was done for the whatever uh, maintenance item here you're dealing with you can enter that and that'll automatically um, reschedule it according to the parameters that you have set for that particular maintenance requirement. Now one other thing I'd like to mention, a really great way and a really quick way of configuring your vehicle. Now you can go through this, this what's do list and right click and edit each one, of course that's, that's one way of doing it. But if you want to do an overall configuration of your car, uh, you just click on this configure maintenance requirements button here. And you'll see a screen where you have all your maintenance requirements uh, displayed. And this is a really good way and a fast way to configure your car. And we do recommend that after you've created your vehicle in, in Automotive Wolf, that you take the time to take out your owner's manual. And you'll find in the back of it, it has a car maintenance schedule from the manufacturer. And you just go through it, and it just takes a few minutes to do this. And try to match the car maintenance schedule from the manufacturer with Automotive Wolf's car maintenance schedule. Now, everything in Automotive Wolf's easily edited. You can create your own requirements. You can delete requirements, disable them, modify them. But just go through the, the schedule, the maintenance schedule in Automotive Wolf and try to match it as best you can with your car maintenance schedule in your owner's manual. So if your owner's manual has, a, let's say, a 75,000 mile requirement for the timing belt to be changed, you can enter that in, in Automotive Wolf. Uh, it would be very simple to do. You can just, for instance, everything, looking at the screen, everything on the left side here, these are maintenance requirements that are not currently enabled. So they're just kind of sitting out there and you're not using them. On the right side are maintenance requirements that are currently enabled and they're being actively uh, checked and monitored by Automotive Wolf now. So if you want to disable or just want to remove one of these requirements from Automotive Wolf that's currently being looked at, all you have to do is uh, simply right click on it, I mean simply click on it to select it. In this case we selected the hoses, check for leaks and bulges, click the move left button and now it's gone. And Automotive Wolf will no longer look at that particular requirement, it's not in this active schedule anymore. And if you want to Actual, if you want to enable a maintenance requirement, you simply click on it here on this left side and move it right. And then you can uh, click on it to actual uh, edit the parameters, the individual parameters, and you see those down here at the bottom here. This particular battery load and condition parameter is scheduled every 15,000 miles or 365 days. And it tells you when it's next due at 10,136 miles or at 5.7. So you can change these, click the apply changes, and um, let's say we don't like the, we we don't want to do it 10,000 miles. We want to do it 20,000 miles. So you just enter 20,000 miles. You want to change the date when it's due. Select the date. Click Apply Changes, and you'll see that it's been changed um, in your maintenance schedule, and everything has uh, been updated automatically. So let's really really quick here. Let's create a requirement. We mentioned the timing belt. So on the left side here, you just enter timing belt. Let's say timing belt replacement. not the best typists as you can see. So we add it, it shows up in blue. All user defined requirements on Automotive Wolf will show up in blue. So just click it and we'll enable it by moving it to the right. So we have to scroll down here. You can see it here in blue, timing belt replacement. Now currently it's got the parameters that are, are the default parameters for it. So I would recommend that when you add a new requirement that you go ahead and edit it. So in our case, we're going to say the owner's manual once it rescheduled every 75,000 miles. So just click on this red text, enter 75,000. Show you how easy this is. Very fast and very easy to do. And they, I believe, in the owner's manual, like it to have, like it to be checked every uh, at least every uh, year. Well, let's say uh, yeah, it's every year. So 365 days, and we're going to have it next due at 75,000 miles. 
So the first time, according to the owner's manual, you should check this is at 75,000 miles, and then it's rechecked every 75,000 miles. Um, and the current date is uh, we're here in May 2012, so we're going to move this back six months. Now what happens since we have both distance and time parameters enabled for this requirement, it's going to look at both of them. And whichever one comes first, it's going to show you, a re it's going to display a reminder or send you an email reminder to have this particular maintenance item checked. So in this case, we have it being rescheduled automatically every 75,000 miles or 365 days, and it's next due at 75,000 miles on 12-1-2000, and let's make that... I didn't do that right here. Let's go up to uh, July 1st, 2013. So most likely we'll hit the, the mileage requirement first and it'll be displayed. So we just apply the changes and that's basically it. Click OK, I'm finished. And we'll have a requirement. If you look under pending, you'll see the timing belt replacement requirement is now here, uh, due on July 1st, 2013 at 75,000 miles. And it's in the, under the pending uh, option in the what's due list because of course it's not due now and it'll be due in the future so just click back on the due now and you can see it disappeared because it's not due now so the configure maintenance requirements is a great way to really fast and, uh, enable and disable requirements and modify the requirements and create your own requirements and uh, you can just go through your owner's manual in just a few minutes usually update your car maintenance schedule so that it matches it and you at that point you're ready to go you can just it's pretty much forget and leave let automotive wolf uh, monitor your maintenance schedule for you and it'll send you reminders and reschedule them when you, when you satisfy any of them. Everything's done for you automatically. Uh, very easy to do and it'll keep your car in a great running condition. So that'll do it for this demo for today. I look for more demos in the future. Thank you for listening.